Antigua is a beautiful island. It's very <laughs> hot, but the people are hospitable. Antigua and Barbuda is the best place on earth. Very interesting culture, a lot of fun, um, easygoing people. Um, we're located um, pretty much as the heart of the Caribbean, as what we tend to be referred to, and land of 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. Antigua's GDP and income mainly depends on tourism. But because of tropical storms and natural disasters becoming more intense and more frequent, it means these tourism opportunities are losing out and the economy really needs to diversify. The island of Barbuda was once a Caribbean paradise. Now it is lost. Uh, the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda says that Barbuda is now barely habitable. And my last daughter was crying, telling mommy, mommy, the whole house is tearing apart. And I hook her and tell her not to cry, be strong and pray. We destroy our homes, our workplaces, the hospital, the airport. But thank God we're alive because it was real, real bad. Everything since then has just been like going downhill. The island now is totally uninhabitable. Four months later, there's still no electricity, there's no resources, and people have not been able to move home. I don't know when we'll be ever back up to normal or even close to normal again. I, I can't even say. In times like this, People need technology, ways to communicate, ways to improve the people power that help during these hurricanes and natural disasters. And it's imperative that we, as humans, start to prepare communities vulnerable to the threats of climate change with tools that can help them in the most urgent time of need. So this weekend, we're in Antigua, we're hosting a hackathon, the first of its kind in the region. We've called it Dadly Hack after the local language. And we've brought people from the local community here in Antigua and Barbuda and the regional islands to come up with their own solutions for hurricane and disaster relief. So why not host the hackathon here and get people who experience the problems, the hurricanes and natural disasters firsthand involved in the process. So let me restate the rules. What it really is happening tonight is we're helping communities bounce back after storms and that's the most important mission of them all because those storms are inevitable and we have this opportunity to change lives. Well, I think the future looks extremely bright. Daddy Hack is very welcome here in Antigua and Barbuda. So our hope this weekend is that we walk away with one or many winning solutions that over time will have a real world impact both here in Antigua and Barbuda and the entire region, there's a strong tech community hungry for opportunities, eager to take part in more events like this hackathon this weekend. So our perspective using technology to empower communities affected by climate change is in order for these people to migrate with dignity. So we have uh, lots of different schools across uh, the island in Antigua and we're giving them exposure to computer science through coding. These are skills that are most relevant in today's job market. Um, and these are skills that are relevant for education, uh, should be integrated into the curriculum. They've had really shown a lot of uh, growth mindset and grit. Just think what you can do if this was embedded into the curriculum over long term. We believe that if young people are more involved in tech and innovation, they become our hope for solutions to some of the world's biggest problems like climate change. We need to come together, unite, and get back on track. We can, we can live, we can move on. We need to come together, join as one, and move on. That's just life.